Well, right now there's a project that's going on which is essentially generating a new revision of what's called public key infrastructure. Public key cryptography is a technique uh, that involves two keys. Regular cryptography that you had with that code dial from the uh, Captain Crunch serial, where you say encrypt messages and then decrypt them with the same code wheel. Well, that was one key. The key was the code wheel. In the internet, we can't share keys by handing them code wheels. You know, we just can't eat that much cereal. What we do instead is we use public key cryptography, which was developed at the end of the 1970s, where you have two keys, one to encrypt messages and the other to decrypt. The message that the encryption key can be made public, hence public key cryptography, the decryption key is only held by the person who can read the messages. And that's what underlies the security when you go to Amazon or eBay or any of those places where you hand over your credit cards and you see the the uh, address bar go green, that's because they're using a system called TLS and the web PKI that uses digital certificates to, and so that you know that you're going to amazon.com because a certification authority, which is my business, has checked that somebody came along with a public key, proved that they were amazon.com and was given this certificate, which allows them to establish that they really are who they are, say they are, they establish that they have accountability so that you can trade with them safely online. Now, that infrastructure has been developed over the past 20 years, and as with many infrastructures that are trying to solve a complicated problem, they become more complicated over time. And so now, a number of innovations are coming together to help strip away that complexity and deploy a second wave of PKI that's easier to use and more powerful than the past. The number one security vulnerability on the internet is because people don't use any security at all.